Honey, why you calling me so late? What's up, Internet? It's your boy, Hot Noodle, creative director at X Studios, where we make animations for anybody who needs one. So, holla at your boy. Let's jump right into today's video. How do you define success? My definition of success is across the board. If you're not ripped, if you're not rich, if you ain't rare, if you don't stand out, if you ain't across the board successful, it doesn't mean f***ing shit to me. If you got straight tits and you're in your Rolls Royce, you look like a f***ing clown to me. I'm just laughing at your dumb f***ing ass. Okay. But this is the whole f***ing point. You have a weakness. Change it, motherfucker. How the f*** are you going to lead people if you don't realize your weakness is their way out they're not going to listen to you you're sitting there possessing shit that they don't want to have so i mean this is what people say oh it's not about the money it's about family west it's about this about that motherfucker when you're making money it's about the money when it's family it's about family when you're at the gym it's about muscle whatever you're doing it's about that there's no black and white life it's the i mean what he's saying makes sense but not everybody is built for this kind of like this lifestyle if you if we were to break the world up into three different quadrants right we have the i guess the african lifestyle we have the european lifestyle we have the american lifestyle the american lifestyle is nothing but go 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 work seven days a week hustle 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 if you're not working 18 hours you're not strong if you're not working out you're not strong all these things about hustle bring your work home with you get the work done you look at the European culture, the European culture is, no, at 12 o'clock, let's all go home and take naps, siestas, come back to work and get things done. Work does never comes back home with us. You can kind of see the difference between everything. And then the African lifestyle is more just kind of laid back. Everybody don't do anything. Let's just wait until somebody calls us to get work. So at different strokes for different folks. So not everything is saying is applicable to every single person. So that is also something to keep in mind. Don't let the modern day kind of like hustle and bustle kind of don't get caught up in it. Don't be keeping up with the Joneses. Move at the pace that makes sense to you. Gray area. You have to be good at everything. That's the goal, to really excel in every area. And that's the worst thing about these mother They try to give you relationship advice. You got a borderline Miami 2. That's like a fucking Mississippi 6. Don't give me relationship advice to my 10 when you got a 2, mother Shut up. But this is this whole thing. People don't think I'm going to put the measuring stick to their mother face. They better just watch what they say around a mother who's beating them in every area. You better have a bad bitch. You better be ripped. You better can be rolling some sick shit. That's what I like. I, I grew up hustling. That's me rims on my goddamn phantom. Go out front. It ain't no that ain't normal phantom. That's a mansory phantom. I don't have the normal shit. Why is he bragging about things that that's so, so stupid, dude? That having material possessions doesn't make you a man, dude. That's not what makes you a quote unquote man. Like just because your phantom is sitting on dubs. That's nah, nah. Come on, guys. Let's we have to really like let's let's change the way we're we're sort of like delegating what is a man. Let's change the way that what we're attributing to be manly because the things right now that y'all are saying half of the shit don't make no sense and is not applicable to most people. Most people are just hella normal, dude. Most people are just hella normal and will never like be moving in the way that they need to move. The guy who works at a food truck but still is able to support his family is still a man. The guy who works at the bank making 60k a year is still a man. The guy washing toilets and is a janitor is still a man. You have to change the paradigm of what we think is a man. This guy, his way of doing things is not the way that needs to be put on everybody else, man. Come on. That chicks got upgrades done. Well said, Wes. God damn, with the fire. My definition of success is having a family, having children, and being part of the apparatus of the world. And true wealth is a rejection of materialism. As Christ said himself, what good does it benefit a man to gain the entire world at the cost of his soul? It's okay to have materialism. It's not against Christian ethics to become rich, become wealthy. But I just think it's all beside the point, ultimately. You're trying to go for a single thing, and it's to achieve something greater you have than money. the person. Does, does he have money? No. Does, do you have money? No. No, I don't have money. How much I don't money do you have? have? So yeah, now you guys, are, you guys are about to duke it out over who has more money. This is the conversation that you guys are about to have right now. This is it. This is the convo. This is how this is gonna go down. Come on, guys. Come on. I don't have money. But but here's the thing. Why is why is money I'm a, valuable? I'm a, just do you why, have money? What is money valuable for? I'm just asking. Do you have money? I just thought no. I'm broke. I'm a nobody. No, but really, you are. Yeah. Is he really broke? Yeah. I'm just, 
<laughs> I just want to know. I have to know. No, I'm not. I'm not one of these rich guys. I don't have a Bugatti. I don't have a Lambo. I, don't I, have I a just Ferrari. really have to know. Like, how much money you got? Probably five. The five bucks in my pocket. Not much uh, more. Does anyone, can anyone answer for the guy? <laughs> Why do they think I'm kidding? I have a family. I take care of an entire family. That's that takes a lot of money. Right. He's doing all right. Okay. This is the thing, you guys. If you ain't fit, you can't say it's not all about being have being in good why, shape. Why not? If you don't have money, you can't say it's not all about money. Yeah, why not? But if he does have money, he can say that. Why not? He why can't. can't you say? Why must you have the thing? Because you, cause before I, you hang on, hang on, hang on, let me ask the question. Because hypothetical is hypocritical. Let me ask the question. Hypothetical is hypocritical. How do you even know what I was going to say before I've even been allowed to ask the question? I know what you're going to say. Then what was I going to say? You're going to say how? Why can't you ask the question? Okay, so that's not what I was going to say. What I was going to say is how in the world can you create a standard that it's inappropriate to ask somebody? How come if I don't have X thing because I don't value X thing, does that mean X thing is actually valuable? You've never exactly. That's what I'm. That's exactly what I'm saying about the stupid phantom on dubs, bro. Just because he doesn't have the phantom on dubs, oh, now he's a lesser man. His wife is gonna leave him. He's he's gonna become a cuck because he can't have the dubs. The phantom on dubs can't have it. Come on, guys. You have. I don't understand. That's what I'm saying about the whole like Western like entire like philosophy of hustle culture it's really like it's corrupted the minds of the youth it's corrupted the minds of people to think that like they need to have these things to kind of move on and pursue they need to be like no it's not all about that bro it's not all about that are you somebody who is giving are you vulnerable are you loving are you listening to the people when they present you with their problems are you developing things in your community are you like are you shifting consciousness of the people around you like this is what attributes to a man you know what i mean like i don't have a lot of material things i got rid of a lot of things that i had because at a certain point i realized that all these things were stupid then the next thing i got rid of after that was like the the idea of titles Oh, you're this, you're this person, you're that, you're that. And it's like, no, I'm not anything. I'm just somebody who's trying to at least bring some kind of awareness to people's thought processes, man. Experienced it, so you can't speak about <laughs> you it. You think that I haven't experienced wealth? Even I, poor I was people, asking if you did. Even poor people experience days of wealth. I was they asking can, if you did. I, I don't people, know who you are. Even Yeah, but even poor people experience days of wealth. And so the thing is... is no, no, it's definitely not. not. Definitely yeah, not. Def yes, definitely they do. So. Definitely so. I've lived the lowest lows and the highest highs. Well, what's, so what's the distinction? After you make X amount, hundreds of thousands of dollars, if you look at these studies done on this, it does not I don't hugely, fit no studies, It does not bro. hugely improve a person's life. Are you proud of who the f*** you are? Right? Why, why well, look you at, are you proud? If you look in the mirror, would you guys say this motherfucker's <laughs> proud of who the f*** he is? That's a bag of trash, dude. Pull your f***ing shirt because off. I've been, tell me you're f***ing proud because of Because I've been to f***ing prison? Jesus Christ, because look I've at been to you, prison? bro. You got ten inch arms and tits. <laughs> Men don't have tits. No, they go to prison. Get your ass beat in front of everybody. You think that's better? that He did just suck his gut in there. He did just suck his gut in just there. So, I mean... He definitely doesn't have the fitness down. He definitely doesn't have the fitness down, so he's not going to be able to go long in terms of taking care of his family. But that's okay. He's still going to be able to take care of his family. It just probably won't be for a long time. That's better. Okay. Let's let him give his, his definition of success. And then. Having tits and 10-inch arms let's, is let's, what a man is, let's you let's let him Please get his... don't listen to tits. Anyway, back to where I was at. Boobs. But he does have a point and this guy is just he's not really letting the other dude just get his point through and he's not letting his own ideas concede this one dude here Wes, He's not letting the other guys. He's not conceding at all But it's like dude you have to be able to listen to both sides and you're not listening to both sides You just he just thinks that what he's saying is right and has to be right and it's like it's not always the case bro And that's the case of somebody who's not open-minded and if you're not open-minded get ready for defeat bro get ready for defeat Yeah Okay, prison. But anyway, if you want, Fuck yeah. if you want to follow the successful mantra of a man who tells you he's reformed from prison, understand why they might have gone there to begin with. And to take yes, care of I, do, I do think that a rejection of materialism is something missing in society. And I do think that true wealth is the family, being able true. to go home and look your family in the face and know that you're doing everything you can to support them. That's and then when you go to the beach is. with your family, they're like, there's my stud dad right there standing there. My dad's a superhero. Look what he brought to the table. Look how hard this guy works. He came from sure. nothing to this. Yeah. He works very, he works, he's, God damn it. You're still whining. Stop whining. That, that and just is a make product. I, dude, I'll smack your fat yeah, ass. So you're going to attack okay. You're going to attack All right, all right, Do you usually it? attack this armed men in Florida? Talk, <laughs> you do. All right. He called. Look let's at just... your goddamn self. Okay, guys, guys, I've guys, never guys, seen guys, such a pathetic mother. Okay, well. Chill out a little bit, man, a little bit. This is not what men look like. What do they look like? Fucking shit. What do they look like? Bald prisoners? Is that what they look like? Stop! Right, this is the problem him, in society. Is people like this think they can talk to someone like me like that? They really think they can. 
He, he knows he wouldn't do shit about it, and that's the problem. I mean, you're the one who got hostile for having a difference of opinion. Dude, tra check it out. You started coming at me about some other shit. But Jesus yeah. Christ, men don't have this. We can agree on that. Physically. Men usually have he, hair. We can agree on that, too. He has Physically. crossed over gender barriers. Got him. He got him. We fucking got him. Listen, guys. Everyone has the, is entitled to their own opinion. Of course, the truth is... I guess some would say subjective, but there is an objective truth to a lot of things in life. I think Wes's idea of going to prison and being this reformed prisoner that now is able to then boss up and take care of his family. Yes, that is honorable. Andrew Wilson has a different sort of set of values and morals at which he lives by as a man. At the end of the day, if they are both able to provide it for their families and are upstanding citizens in their community and people speak well about them, then at the end of the day, they both won. They both are winners. So this idea of like, oh, you have to be this, you have to be that. It's like, it's very construed. It reminds me of when I was pursuing the idea of being a, a music artist, being a music star. And like, you get caught up in this idea of making it. This idea of making it only is, it's an idea. It's, a, it's, it's almost you create this idol, this statue that you put up on a pedestal to make. And, but you never really ever make it. You never really make it. What ends up happening is people take advantage of you if you're not aware of what you're supposed to be or who you eventually you wanted to become. You get lost in this idea because you don't know who you want to become. So when the labels end up signing you, they turn you into who they want you to become. And then they profit off of the music and everything that you make. So know yourself, know your wealth, and you will be the person that you are intended to be all right guys i will watch you in the next video that i got if you watch all the way to the end thank you a lot of y'all do not but that's okay we don't care whoever watches to the end you will be blessed and abundance will be put upon you xfsx and i'm out Rah!